Welcome back, folks. Now, if you're a little bit time poor in your hurry and you don't really want to get into the whole complexities of adding clips and special effects and sound effects and trimming clips and adding transitions, etc., etc., you just haven't got time for that. We can try and use a feature in Premiere Elements 2018 called the Instant Movie function. Now, I'm a real cynic, a real disbeliever when it comes to these things because pretty much any smart functions, they sometimes work brilliantly. Sometimes they don't. So you always need a bit of a plan B. And that's why I tend to steer students into the expert editing mode because you can do anything in that mode. OK, it's a steeper learning curve, uh, but it's a little bit, I suppose, like setting your camera to manual metering rather than just cruising through life on auto because on auto, it's going to make mistakes and you won't know how to fix it. So let's get on and give it a go. In order to start this, you need to input some uh, clips here. The only thing I've done to these clips is I've had a quick look at them and there were a few, in fact, there's another one here, which is, I think, is just a little bit too short. So I'm just going to click it and delete it. So really short clips, I mean, like a second or two seconds, probably not worth bothering with. So I'm pretty happy with what here. We've got a half a dozen, I've probably got a dozen clips there. We put them into the timeline. We're ready to kick off and go. We hit the Create button and we choose Instant Movie. Well, hey. Now, Instant Movie comes with all these different movie themes. Amazing range. I'm choosing a slideshow theme because I think it's pretty classic. But there are ones that are very heavily graphic oriented, like European travel. I was trying to find one on South African travel and they don't seem to have one. There you go. So it just seems to be people going to Europe that get one, their own theme. So we've got fun in the sun, there's sort of kids themes, there's a road trip theme, etc, etc. So you can choose those. Now, if you see a little blue ribbon on the top right of each thumbnail, that means they're actually not part of the program. You have to download them as an additional asset. It doesn't cost you any money, of course, but it may take a little bit of time because the one that I just tried uh, took, was 140 megabytes, so it took a little bit of time to download. Here it is. I'm going to choose pan and zoom. You can click on the little playhead, and it kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and click Next because I'm impatient and I want an instant movie, and I want it now. So the thing I need to do is opening title. So Robbins in South Africa. There we go. Adventure. We'll try that. See how that goes. Robbins Adventures in South Africa. Okay, something like that. Directed by me. Well, we can put a little change in there. Okay, there's my name in there. Adobe Premiere Elements. Don't need to do that necessarily. I think that'll do time. Almost everything else I'm going to leave untouched because I just want to show you how it works. It works pretty well. I'm just going to speed it up a bit. So we're going to pile in a few extra effects and we're going to speed it up. So essentially that means the dissolves or whatever transition they choose, I was thinking of the word there, um, is going to be much shorter, much, much quicker. And that can add a fair amount of sort of dynamic uh, to the production. I'm going to not touch anything else and I'm just going to click on apply. Bang. And it's saying to me immediately, all users applied effects shall be replaced. Okay. And what that means is if I spent time going through these clips and adding brightness and color and contrast, etc., 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 while I've been, uh, before I've started the instant movie, it's not a good thing because it wipes them all out. You can do it afterwards, but not before. So it asks you at the end of the day, and you can see how long, well, just when I was talking about 10 or 15 seconds, it goes, pachung. it's gone through all 10, 12, or 15 clips and put in transitions animations, pan and zoom effects. You know, I, I, first time I saw this, I thought, nah, nah, this hasn't worked. It's one of those things that Premiere Elements does. And it goes, Bzz, you know, and then when you look at it, it's failed. Uh, and this hasn't failed at all. So it needs to render. And that's why I'm wibbling on a little bit, because I'm hoping it's going to render before I finish speaking. Uh, because it's got titles, it's got text in there, it's got transitions, it's got animations, it's got pan and zoom effects in there. It's stitched all those uh, 12 or 15 clips together into one long uh, little movie production, an instant movie in other words. So it's done pretty well. I'm just going to put us on hold until we've finished rendering it and then we'll come back and enjoy the show. So in, uh, in the matter of a few minutes or even a few seconds, it will have finished rendering it. Let's have a quick look at what we've got here. So uh, if we just start off at the beginning and we're just going to bring the audio. Okay. And we'll play that. Have a look. Okay. So I can see there's a immediate problem there. I've put in too many letters or too many words into my title. It just needs to be Robin Robin's Adventures or something like that. So Robin's Adventures in South Africa, a little bit too much. Um, so I need to go back and fix that. But 
But as you can see, the, uh, the transformations are quite stunning, um, sort of 3D graphics. And they, what I really like about the way that this done it is in typical fine, he's very cute, isn't he, little, little baby hippo, um, is the fact that uh, when they play a particular transition, they'll play the same transition again, but they'll do it in reverse or it'll come in from a different angle. So even though it's a sort of fairly basic transition, uh, you'll find that um, it's repeated in different ways. So it doesn't look like it's just the same thing and the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. And that's the worst thing you can do with any kind of video or slideshow production, because uh, after the first 10 or 15 transitions, it'll send the audience to sleep. Okay, so I think you can see that uh, the evidence is in here. This is pretty stunning. Uh, let's just jump ahead. Here's some nice uh, heifer lumps here, as you can see. And uh, I, there are enough transitions in this video to keep everybody pretty much happy. I think we've seen that when we get a starburst effect. And uh, it's essentially taken long takes, like 20, 30, 40 second clips, and cut them up and slice them together with more interesting bits. So it's done an amazing job. It's fairly intuitive. So I'm incredibly happy. So we ended up with a sort of five and a half minute video. I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit here. Five and a half minute video that needs almost nothing doing to it other than going back to fix up that typo and uh, shorten my title. Let's go and have a look at the end, see if we've got any end credits happening up here. Uh, so we can fix up the title a little bit more. So that's pretty much all I need to do there to, to make this an almost perfect little product. I can then save it, here we go, directed by me. I can then save it and then output it to uh, upload it to my blog, to my website or whatever.